Hi. Hi, Ieda from Brazil. What? Ieda from Brazil. Yeah, yeah. I'm very uh -huh. happy. I have just uh, received an acceptance letter now. That's wonderful. See you in Thank October, you. huh? Yeah. So, hi, everybody. Um, I guess uh, my name is Ran Tal. I'm the head of the program, uh, the international documentary program at Tel Aviv uh, University. Uh, we try to have this webinar to, to help us to, you know, answer any question that you have. Some of you, we already knew, uh, we spoke before. So if you, if you have any question, um, it would be wonderful. But if you think you have all the answers, uh, stay with us, it would be great. But uh, um, so uh, we see here with us uh, Aventia, Kafrisi, right, Germany, uh, Benjamin from the US, Aida from Brazil. Ben is a student here in Tel Aviv University in Tel Aviv right now. Ilya, are you from uh, Israel? Haifa, that's you? Okay, that's great. And what about Federico? Are you with us? Natalia and Matteo. It's been wonderful to see you guys before I'm starting to speak. Can you can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Hi. Uh, I'm from the U.S. Ah, Matteo, how are you? Uh, I'm and good. Uh, Federico uh, or Natalia, I'm waiting for you. One more minute, please. To try to connect, so I'm waiting. Okay, we try. Federico, can you hear me, please? Uh, you can answer me on the chat. Just want to know if to wait for you or not. Here I am. Ah, okay. How are you? Where are you coming from? Where are you speaking from? I'm from Italy, Bologna. Italy. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let's start. So my name is Rantal. I'm the head of the program and it's wonderful to see you guys. Um, I would like to speak very briefly and short about the program. And then I, um, Ben Torren, that is one of our students this year, maybe we'll put his uh, point of view about the program. And then I think the best way is to open it for questions. Um, so the program, uh, this year is the first year that we're running the program. It's really exciting. Uh, it's a very challenging year, as all of you know, uh, with all the corona situation. Actually, the second semester, um, almost 100% uh, was on Zoom online, but we are very optimistic about the summer semester to go back to the, to the campus in Tel Aviv University and um, try to, to do a, a normal semester. Um, uh, the program is uh, mainly for filmmakers that want to improve their, their skills and want to want to develop an uh, exciting project in the during the the study in Tel Aviv University and to speak and to and to learn and to to go deeper and deeper about thinking in general about documentary cinema. Um, we teach uh, three semesters in a row autumn, spring, and summer, and the last semester, the fourth semester, it's only about final project. It means that if you're from Italy or from Germany, you can go back to your hometown and continue to work over there and to have this kind of meeting about shooting, about research, about editing and everything. And if you are in Tel Aviv, uh, we can meet in, in the university. 
Um, so it's 11 months. Um, it's a tough 11 months, but uh, you finish everything after 11 months and then only the final project. The, all, the, all, all of our teachers are professional filmmakers. You can see them uh, online and, and the Google, you can see what they do and what they did, uh, all the achievements, etc. cetera. Uh, the first semester, we're teaching uh, all the, 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 three, the three semester we're teaching Sunday and Monday. So the rest of the week you have for yourself or enjoying Tel Aviv, traveling, doing assignments and exercise for the university, thinking about the, the project, research, you know, whatever students do and even work. It's sometimes it's difficult, but it's possible to do that. And so the first semester is dedicated more or less to direct cinema. Uh, this is the directing uh, uh, workshop. And then we have research workshop, uh, photography one, uh, ethnographic cinema, and uh, seminar about uh, theory in documentary cinema. Um, just a second, someone. Uh, and every two weeks in the first and in the second semester, we have the privilege to, to meet Israeli filmmakers, see their films and speak about, you know, about cinema, about life, about whatever it's uh, come to our minds through the films and, and through these uh, artists. Um, between the first semester and the second semester, uh, someone wants to go in. Ella. In the vacation between the first and the second semester, we're going to have an um, international uh, master class. This year we had uh, Sergei Luznice, if you know his work, one of the most important art house director right now. And next year, the plan is um, Nicolas Flibert, the French artist, the French director, one of the most known director in Europe right now and, and definitely in France. So the second semester, the directing workshop will be about testimony and archive. Um, and then we're gonna have a script workshop. Sorry. Script workshop, um, another workshop for photography, and the first one about editing. And the theory is about ethic, ethic in the documentary cinema. And the last semester in the summer, uh, we're gonna have um, the directing workshop will be about cinema, that's the place, the location, the space is in the center of the, of the film. Uh, we have a sound design workshop, production workshop, and the second workshop about editing. And the theory seminar will be about trauma in the Israeli documentary cinema. And in the last one, like I already told you, it's a more free style. It's about developing, speaking, editing your final project. Um, and you don't have to be in Israel or in Tel Aviv. Uh, you're most welcome, but you can go back if you want. Uh, we have all the equipment, very good equipment in the school, in Tish Film uh, School for Cinema and Television. Um, we have editing room if you want, and we can support in some amount of money for the final project. Um, I think this is more or less the, the plan, the program. It's uh, 48 in Israel. We count it like in credits. So it's 48 credits. And most, most of the time is uh, it's, it's about uh, professional workshops. Only 12 hours about uh, you know, theory and stuff like that. Um, I can give you much more details, but I think this is a good time to give Ben the microphone. Uh, ben from uh, US, from the West, from the East Coast in the US, 
Um, so Ben, can you tell us a few words about yourself and about your experience this year, uh, the first semester and then the Corona semester and what is your conclusion, what you can say to your fellows here that's um, thinking about joining us uh, next October? Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so starting with the first semester, the first semester, there was a bit more theory in terms of like the, the coursework and like how it worked for this first year, at least. Um, there was a bit more theory. There was uh, a course, a seminar course with a professor named Ohad Landsman. You can look him up. He's done a lot of in really interesting writing about mostly like film criticism and some other stuff. Um, he did his PhD at NYU. Um, and then also some cinematography. There's two semesters of cinematography. So we started last semester with the first one um, and then continued on through the, se the second one. And it's right now being the end of the semester, uh, we were limited with how much we could work with equipment and access to uh, the university facilities. So we will have had, we've had one and we'll have a second course um, in person with uh, the cinematography instructor about uh, all the equipment that we have access to and how to use it. And by this point, it's gotten fairly advanced, whereas it started more general at the beginning of the first semester. Um, the ethnography class was very interesting. I think that was the general favorite of the people in the class of in, uh, the, in this class of the four classes we had last semester. The ethnography class was um, seemed to be people's favorite class. Uh, for that class, we had to do a ten-minute film, um, and then we did a re we had a research class, and that was starting to research our final project. So, the idea with um, how the how it's structured is that uh, you're able to go from the first from basically level zero with your final project and work on it for for completion uh, through completion. Um, and have like the infrastructure and help to be able to to be able to do that. So yeah, I mean that's just off the top of my head a quick uh, synopsis of all the courses. And then uh, so Corona made things more difficult, but um, I was still able to get done all of, like the shooting assignments uh, outside. Uh, made it made it work. Um, I hope for you guys' sake that you won't have to use Zoom, that there won't be a, a second wave and that you'll, you won't have to go through the whole Zoom thing because it all, it worked, but uh, it was definitely a, a less than, it was less than, I, less than ideal, especially for this kind of uh, course, this kind of, this kind of learning to do it over Zoom. But yeah, that was, yeah. Okay, so, Ben, thank you. Uh, so we, we try to focus on the, on the final project, if so, it depends how much you are know what you want to know, what is the stage of, of, the, of the final project, uh, but it's, it's like sometimes speaking in general or speaking about different style of cinema, not the one that you're interested in, to, you know, to wide your, your mind about cinema and sometimes going deeply to, to the project that you want to develop. Of course, the, the project can change and you know, gets uh, different angles at time, and sometimes even totally change the subject and everything. Uh, so it's um, it's it's also about cinema in general, and and in many ways try to touch what you are coming, what you are you know dreaming to do, and what kind of of, of project you want to um, to develop. Um, Ben mentioned few uh, workshops. Um, there is another one about editing. Uh, there's, you also had the two uh, directing workshops about uh, testimony and archive and about uh, direct cinema. Uh, so it's, 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 I think it's, uh, 
it's a lot of issue, a lot, a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, way to think about this art that we call it uh, non-fiction uh, cinema. Um, and I feel it's fascinating, I don't know. Um, uh, ben, do you want to speak a little bit about Tel Aviv, about get organized? I think it's uh, very interesting as well to people that's coming from, you know, very far away. It's easy, it's difficult, how you manage? Um, Tel Aviv is, it's not, it's not the hardest city to manage. Um, things work generally well enough here i'd say uh getting to getting to the university by bus which is what a lot of people do especially the international students it can take some time but uh because you're only on campus twice a twice a week that's fine there's people who are coming uh to campus from much further than in israel than tel aviv for class um in terms of living I mean, yeah, Tel Aviv, it's a very, it's a very nice city, for sure. I, I enjoy, I enjoy living in Tel Aviv. It's great, it's, it's great, uh, especially if you like, like, beach culture, uh, outdoor beach culture, that's sort of, at least, it's, it's definitely uh, heavy on the uh, outdoor, which is great for me, but, like, uh, doing stuff outside, there's a lot to do. Okay, great, Ben. Um, it's very important, of, you know, the experience is not just to be in campus, it's just to, you know, have some kind of uh, experience uh, in life in general. So let's open for some questions. I'm sure you have some questions. Um, we can speak and speak, but uh, it's more important to listen to you guys. So Aida, Ilya, Federico, Matteo, Benjamin, Evantia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, any questions? Yeah, either. Uh, first of all, this is a very uh, Sameh, <laughs> Yom Sameh, uh, because I just received the letter that I was accepted. My doubt is about uh, the tuition because I'm doing Alia. I'm almost finishing my, my Alia process as uh, Ola Hadasha. And uh, I want to know about the tuition for Israelis. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure I know it, the number, ex the exact number, but the Israeli citizen pay like 28,000 shekel for the whole program. So I think it's like 30% less than uh, non Israeli citizens. How much? 30% less. For non Israeli, it's $10,500. For Israeli citizen, it's 28,000 shekel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Great. Okay, next one. Yes, I have a question. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I'm very happy that I got into the program and I'm very excited. Uh, just to be sure, uh, Mr. Ravni said that the uh, program is 11 months. Uh, it lasts during 11 months, right? 11 months you need to be in the university. The, next, the last semester, the last four months or three months, you come to the university only to meet your mentors and speak about your final project, depending on which stage you are in, in the... Mm -hmm in the process you know so you don't so, need to so, come monday and sun, sunday and monday mm -hmm. so three uh, so three uh, 11 months is three semesters and then comes the, first, the fourth yeah the last All one right. is the much more free the schedule it's much free okay so basically yeah so basically the whole program is including fourth semester it ends in 2021 right February, yeah. And uh, the, so uh, every semester is uh, three, four months, right? So the yeah, one... it's like uh, 12 to 13 weeks, I think. The, the summer is, uh, is shorter, it's like uh, 10 weeks. Uh-huh. 
okay? Yeah, 12 to 13 weeks. Yeah, it, this is the, the autumn and the spring and the summer is like 10, 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, I have one more question. Uh, I don't have much experience in shooting documentary cinema uh, and documentary films. I have some, but uh, I just want to know to be prepared. What uh, exact uh, technical skills do I have to know to learn before the program to be prepared? Because uh, I know how to edit. Uh, I, I, I used uh, like um, not very professional cameras, so I'm not very used to it. Uh, what do I have to know um, before the program to be prepared? I think we can, we can schedule a short workshop, technical workshop before we start to study about the camera that we use in uh, Tel Aviv University. So it could be good for, for people that's already in, his, in Israel. Uh, um, yeah, be in touch with us and uh, we can very easily organize some, you know, technical workshop, just, you know, teaching you about the, the camera and how to run it and operate it and stuff like that. And we can do the same about the editing uh, software. It depends what kind of software you are uh, interesting to work, you know, it's, uh, we are not telling you guys how to work and you can work uh, Avid, you can work Final Cut, Premiere, whatever you feel uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mean this during the, the program or before? I have to write? I think before. It will be before. better for you to have, uh, to come before to the university, we can organize a meeting with uh, with uh, one of our te te technician guys, and uh, you can go over the camera, and then you need to start to walk. And everything coming from walk, as you, as you know, as a Russian guy, everything is about walking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Nothing coming from here. Everything is from coming from walk. Okay. Oh so yeah, be great. Touch, so be in touch with us about it in the summer, and we are, we'll organize it for you. Mm hmm. All right, great. And also, I have a computer. I have a MacBook Pro. It's not very like fresh and new, but as I understand, uh, you have also computers and everything to edit to, right? In uh, yeah, but it's on Avid. It's a little bit more more uh, difficult software, you know, Avid. So if you work in Premiere. I can recommend you to stay on your computer, maybe buy a new one for this, for, for, uh, for our mm -hmm. program, you know, be, be prepared with a good uh, computer. I think it's, it's very helpful. Um, mm -hmm. Right, Ben? I have Final ben, Cut. Ben, are you with us? How are you dealing with editing? Ben, Ben, you le left. No, um, okay. I edit on my computer. I have a MacBook Pro also. And what software are you using? In what I software? use Premiere. Premiere. So most yeah. of the students go on Premiere because it's every it's it's more difficult to to understand the software, the system, and uh, more option, but it's, uh, less friendly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Eventia, how are you, Eva? Are you Hello. good? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm good. Any question? Um yeah, I had one on oh okay. So you mentioned that the the basic campus days are gonna be um Sunday and Monday, right? Yeah, yeah. So are they gonna be like any additional like seminars or any additional courses which we can take? We can we can check in the international school because you know Tel Aviv uh, uh, university, the majority of the courses are in Hebrew, so it will be a little bit difficult for you oh, yeah. uh, to join them. But we can check what the, the Tel Aviv International have to offer because it's like 10 or 15 different programs, not in the arts faculty, you know, in, in many other faculties. So I will ask David that's organized everything to write you, maybe send you 
the rest of the program. And if there is anything you are interested in, we can definitely check it. And you'll see if you have time for that, you know. Mm. Because our program is, uh, it's taken a lot of time to, to make the exercise and the assignment. So, but if you, if you have a ambition to take more, you, you are very welcome. We can check okay. it up for you. Okay. Okay, and I want to mention something else that uh, some of you guys already know. I sent to you, Eva, uh, for uh, international student, Tel Aviv University open uh, uh, for non-Israeli uh, citizen, a new foundation, you know, uh, Corona 19, I don't remember the name. So each of you guys that we are accepted to the program uh, and can apply for this uh, special foundation. And I don't know how much money there is, you know, and how many students will get it, but it's another option uh, to help you with the financial program, uh, you know, problems and coming to Israel and everything. It's, uh, I guess it's not simple for most of you guys. And uh, I am, uh, as a Ola Hadasha, can I apply also? No, it's if you choose to uh, to register as a Brazilian citizen, it's it's one uh, gate, and if you go through the Israeli citizen, it's another gate. So you cannot uh, enjoy <laughs> both, both. You know. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mateo, any, any questions? Yeah, uh, I have a few. Um, go ahead. Um, one. Um, how many students are there, like per semester or per cohort um, of the program? Uh, and did you? 32? Yeah. 22. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. And do you, uh, do you like work with them on different projects or is it primarily just like uh, you work on your own projects? Um, you know, uh, cinema is a collective out, but mm -hmm. anyone want to do his stuff. So I think during the first semester and hopefully on the second semester you can know each other and see who you like and what mm -hmm. kind of relationship you develop and and you know in the end it's it's working together as a team but we not mm -hmm. we are not forcing you to work with specific people mm -hmm. anyone need to develop his own exercise and assignment and project but definitely need and have to use his, his other uh, fellow student to help you um, to achieve what you want to achieve. Otherwise, it's, uh, sometimes it's very, very difficult. Mm. Uh, so, Ben, how it works for you? Working alone, working together, share with us uh, what Matteo is uh, asking, the questions of Matteo. Ben, can you hear me? Sorry, could you repeat that? I missed that. I missed that. How about part. working together or working alone? Yeah, this was the question. Can you repeat it, Mathieu, for Ben? Yeah. Um, it, do you work on projects with other students together, or is it mostly your own projects, like singing uh, you by yourself? It's been a mix. Some projects I've definitely collaborated with other students on. Um, one project had to work with other work with another student. They were put him to pairs. And then I worked by myself as well. But there's definitely the room for working by yourself or working with, with other people. Um, probably because we've by this point, we've done a number of assignments. So I've probably chose out of, I don't know, seven or eight assignments. I probably worked with somebody else on like four or five of them by choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as well. Okay. Of course, the Corona semester it's much it was much more difficult to work together, yeah. especially yeah. in March in March and April. But um, I hope they will work uh, together as much as they want to. Hmm. Um, my next question is um, like housing related. I don't know, maybe Ben, you could speak to this. But like, um, does does the university help you find housing or sort of just like up to you once you get into the program, you just like find an apartment in Tel Aviv sort of a thing? Everyone found an apartment basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you can register for the university Durham as well, you know, but mm -hmm. it's uh, the first come is the first, you know, it's depending right. on how far you are. Yeah. Uh, but it's also an, an option. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, cool. Uh, and my last question is, is there anywhere online where we can watch um, projects that former students have done? Because it's a new uh, program, you know, we just started mm -hmm. this year. So mm -hmm. I hope we're going to have final projects next year. So, you know, okay. it's taking time to develop, Got it. shooting, editing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so far you can see a lot from Tel Aviv University, you know, there's mm -hmm. uh, many, many great uh, film, the documentary and, uh, and non documentary uh, that been all over the world. So it's a lot of success in, in Tel Aviv University Film School, but our program, if we are still young, um, got it. That. Okay, thank you. Okay, who else here? Uh, Federico, how are you? Hi. Uh, uh, yes, I have a question. I'm finishing my three here. Uh, it's uh, called Dams in uh, Bologna. It's uh, uh, arts, uh, it's cinema, it's uh, uh, theater. It's a mix of uh, arts and yeah. I'm finishing it. So my, uh, my question is uh, if uh, would it be possible to access it to this course uh, even if I'm finishing uh, my first three-year cycle? Uh. I think it's possible, but in a, uh, the university will put a condition that you have to deliver until October all the documents that you finish to graduate. Yeah. You know. So if you can, uh, sure, you'll be yeah. able to, to finish everything until you, you come into Tel Aviv, it's possible. We can accept you with conditions. Um, because I, um, I was in contact with one of your students, and uh, she said to me that uh, because I have done uh, already studies in the, in the cinema, if it would be possible to success, even if my BA is not finished. But you're going to graduate this year? This year? Yeah, this is the year of the graduation, but I don't think it's, I'm going to finish it in, in, the, in time. So when do you going to have your uh, diploma? Uh, I think the, the not the December session, but the next one. December 21? No, tw uh, March 21, I think. So you need to apply and ask the specific question and I need to deliver it to the university uh, and to see what you think about. But how you can, if you are coming to Tel Aviv in October, how you can uh, graduate in, in Mels, you know, like Tel Aviv, so how it's going to work for you? Yeah, in fact, my question was uh, if uh, it's uh, strictly required, the, the, the BA, because uh, I already did the studies in this uh, exam bit in cinema, so. Yeah, you, ha you, you, you need to be graduate. Maybe they will give you the option to graduate until uh, November or December, but I'm not sure they will be accept you if you are not uh, sure yeah. that you can graduate in, until the, the end of the first semester. Yeah, yeah, this is, was my question. So if you can arrange it, it's possible, I believe so. But, you know, write, write us the, the, the questions um, and can give you a okay. quick answer. Okay, it. okay. Thank you. Okay, and we have, a, we have this year, we have uh, Italian students that if you want, we can connect you to her and she can give you a lot of information, um, what she feel and, you know, her experience. She actually right now in Italy, she. Yeah, yeah, I already written to, to her because ah, I found uh, on Facebook, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so write, write to me any question. Okay, thank you. Um, and we'll try to help you as much as we can. Okay, Benjamin, how are you? Good, good, thanks. I'm, I've got some, some good questions answered already, but um, one of the things I wondered is if um, we could possibly get a list maybe in an email of the instructors, the professors. Uh, you say there's some visiting professors. I'd love to be able to get the spellings of their names so I can do some research. Yeah, definitely. Send us an email with, uh, with the questions and we give you all the information.
Sure. Um, and the uh, one other question was about the the camera gear. Uh, I'm a filmmaker here in the U.S. and I plan to bring a little bit of gear with me, uh, mostly just audio um, to have that accessible. But uh, I don't plan to bring a camera, and I don't think that's a requirement. But I just was wondering about the accessibility of cameras when we have exercises and if we wanted to shoot things uh, around the city on the side, how accessible is it for me to uh, borrow a camera from the equipment room and for however long I need it for and, and all of that. So I just wondered about if anybody could speak to, to that and, you know. Yeah, we have, we have uh, very good cameras and gears and recording and everything. In, in in this term, the the, the 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 school is very rich. I can say, and there is no problem to to take camera and bring it back. Am I right, Ben? Uh, so you have a different uh, yeah, camera lenses, everything. Go ahead, Ben. What what was your experience? Oh, with I just camera? said that I was just agreeing with you. Yeah, there's the, no problem with with getting a camera. That's good. And the, yeah. and the quality, what do you think about the quality of the cameras that we're using, in, not in the, in the final project, but during the, you know, the exercise? Because for the final project, we can get you a, a much better camera. Yeah, what yeah do you it's an FS5, Sony FS5, and FS, Sony FS5 and FS7 is what we have like, consistent access to. OK, great. Yeah, I'm familiar. So. That was, what that was the next question. That's it? No more question, Benjamin? Uh, let's see. I probably always come up with something else, but um, I could send an email. But, um, but yeah, uh, the only other, yeah, the only other questions regarded housing and things like that, but I, I think I'll figure all that out. Sure. OK, great. And we have here Natalia. Um, just a name, I can't see you. Natalia, do you, you like to ask some questions uh, or are you just listening? No, Natalia. Um, okay. Hey Ron, I gotta I got run. I gotta go. You need Thank to go. You. Okay. Good to Thank meet you guys, you best of luck. I hope you guys come and that it'll be a great time for sure. Thank you. Peace. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, okay, any more questions? Uh, of course, the corona situation, nobody asks about that. It's uh, very disturbing, very make everything fragile and not clear. And uh, But we are very optimistic here. Um, we actually plan to open the summer semester in the campus. Um, but you know, all over the world, it's very <laughs> unclear situation. Um, some places is maybe better than here. I'm not sure if there is, but maybe in some places like Brazil, UA, USA, it's, it's worse. I think Germany, it's uh, more or the same like Israel, maybe it's getting better than Israel, I don't know. Uh, we are very worried about uh, flight and stuff like that, but um, we're optimistic and uh, uh, hope that until uh, October it will be able uh, to fly to Israel, yeah? Um, so if you, if you want to, to apply or if you already accepted, I think the next steps, it will be August when you need to pay the first payment. So then we can see what is the situation in Israel and what is the situation in your country and uh, all the possibility, but we will really going to try to help you, each of you um, with depending of the condition where you're coming from and et cetera. Uh, but the plan right now is to study as usual in the campus, not to use Zoom. Um, it's life sometimes it's more compl <laughs> complicated than that. So if you have any more somebody yeah, David wrote you something on the chat, you know, using him and asking him any question. He's part of the Tel Aviv uh, International. 
school. So you had all this typical um, student question about housing, about insurance, about um, all the stuff you, that you can use and have in Tel Aviv, um, traffic from Tel Aviv to the university, depending on where you're staying. Uh, there's a lot of questions, but David is uh, the best guy to ask him all these questions. But you can do it, you know, in the next few weeks or months. So more questions or we are good? Eva, you good? Federico, Benjamin, Ilya, Matteo, Yaja. Okay, I'm I, here. I only, only one question, because I saw on the site that uh, there is uh, some uh, information, nomination in the, in the Oscars and in the things. But you said that this is the first year and uh, there aren't projects. No, this, this is the first year of the international documentary program. The film school is, you know, established in 74. So it's like yeah. 40, you know, so. Yes. So I, many, I was many, many generation of Israeli filmmaker actually yeah. started in Tel Aviv University, so. Okay, okay. Maybe if there was uh, like uh, something on the, on the net to, or on the side to, to watch yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, there's hundreds of short films, so. If you okay. write us an email, we can send you as many links as you know you you want. Okay, perfect. That, you know, write what kind of film do you want to watch, the commentary, cinema, uh, fiction one, um, you know, whatever. All the subjects uh, that okay. you can make, you can find in the Tel Aviv University archive that's done by, by students during the, the last 40, 40 something years. Okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm here. Feel free to contact me, to write me. If you want, we can speak on the phone. We can speak on Zoom. Um, just use any method of communication that it's convenient for you. Uh, and we try to give you the best answer that we can. Uh, if you are thinking about applying, because some of you here didn't even start to apply, do it very fast because we are just now getting to the end of our student limits. You know, we are only need, uh, we have place only for 22 students. So if you are serious about it, go online and, and yes, upload all the documents that require and send to me directly uh, to me after you upload everything, um, samples of your uh, previous cinematics works. It's very, very important for us um, about yourself, one page about yourself, why you want to study the documentary and why you want to do it in Tel Aviv. You can do it in your homeland. It's much more easy for each of you guys. Uh, and um, proposal for final project. Okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, Natalia, in the end of the meeting, any questions? Hi, I was here listening to everything. <laughs> so you, you, are, you, are, uh, you, you succeed to listen to, every, to everybody here? Yeah, yeah no, not everything. I had some work to be done, so I was here and there all the time. That's why I kept the camera off. Where, where are you talking from? Where are you coming from? I'm from Fortaleza, Brazil. Ah, Brazil, okay. Yeah. So if you want, you can stay online uh, and we can, I can give you all the information you need. And guys, if you have uh, if, uh, no more questions, so I hope to see you in Tel Aviv. It's going to be fun with, with Corona or without Corona. Okay. So take care everyone. And uh, Natalia, you can stay and uh, ask me all the questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank, Thank you, Rafael. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, Natalia, so tell me a little about yourself. What are you interested in? And, uh... um, I've been working with um, international relations and humanitarian organizations, but I 
co-produced a documentary on Venezuelan refugees in Brazil. And uh, I did a master on cultural mediation in the Mediterranean. So my method, like my thesis was about Israeli documentaries, uh, especially concerning the, the conflict. And uh, I'm very interested in, with the master, but I still don't know if I, if I should follow research or following like uh, the master. So I'll, I'll hear more to hear about the program and to see if I should move forward to really learning about documentary making. So thank you. Thank you for waiting longer to hear. I don't have questions. I yeah. just find it very interesting and I'm very excited about it, but I still, I, I didn't make my mind yet. It's, it's difficult to hear with the connection, with the Wi-Fi it doesn't work so well. So I understand you are, you are have some, do you have any experience in, in, in cinema, in, in directing or, sh of, or shooting or editing or just being in the production? No, more in production, interviewing, planning, uh, more like yeah, producing than editing. I do edit of, like short videos, uh, but not uh, long videos or long documentaries. Okay, so you're just uh, thinking about it, or you really want to uh, to try to apply? What is the situation right now with you? I'm making up my mind. <laughs> I okay. definitely it's a very uh, interesting program for me, uh, especially because I'm very interested in. Israel uh, documentaries and uh, it'll be amazing, but I still, I'm making plans <laughs> this year of my life. So it was really nice to hear a little bit about the program. Okay. Can, can help me. <laughs> That's great. You are very welcome to contact us and it will be wonderful to have you in Tel Aviv. Or, but let us know if you want to apply uh, and what is your plans for next year. Yes, for sure. Thank you. Okay, okay. You're most welcome. Uh, so, if you don't have any more, if you don't have more questions, thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Federico. Um, thank you. Uh, take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Can I can I also receive uh, the list uh, that you said to Federico? The list with uh, movies that that have been produced. Uh, by Tish School. There's so many, you know, it's hundreds and hundreds of, of different films. Yeah. I can ask the the woman that's working uh, distribution of the school films if you're going to send me an email. I need an email from you. Send me an okay. email and I will try to ask her if she can send you some links that you can understand the level and the achievements of our students. Uh, in, in mention, if you want uh, fiction, non-fiction, uh, political, uh, whatever you want, you are interested in, because there are so many, you know. Yes, for sure. Okay. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.